Howdy, thanks for joining me. I'm Wayne. We had been collecting autographs. Well, I've been collecting autographs for quite a few years. But uh, back about 1979 or 80, I was able to get an in-person photograph signed by President Ronald Reagan. He wasn't president then. He was campaigning for the nomination. So we got word that he was going to be at Richardson Square Mall, which is a little suburb just out the outskirts of Dallas there. They have a nice mall there. Mr. Reagan was going to be there. He was campaigning, I think it was for the Republican. One of those, anyway. He was campaigning, so he was going to give a little speech and all. So I had a, some photos of him from some of his movies, the original 8 by 10 photos. So I picked up one from a movie called Bedtime for Bonzo. I think that was 1950. He made that movie. That was the one where Bonzo was a little chimpanzee. Wasn't one of his better movies, but it was okay. It's a nice portrait of him, though. So I went over to the mall, listened to Mr. Reagan give his speech, and when he gets through, he comes down. He's walking down the carpet row, shaking hands with people, Secret Service all over him and all. When he got to me, I had the photograph and a little red felt tip Sharpie clipped on the photo. When he got to me, I handed him that photo. Secret Service immediately grabbed my arm and didn't let go. Another Secret Service grabbed the pen and took off. So he's down there. I guess he's checking it out to make sure it's not a bomb or something, you know. He's protecting Mr. Reagan. I can understand that. So Mr. Reagan's standing there at the photo, and he looks down the road for the guy with the pen, looks back at the photo, looks up at me and says, I never was that young. I said, yeah, I know what you mean, sir. Yeah. A few minutes later, the Secret Service man came back down there. By the way, he's standing there waiting on the Secret Service. He's, one of them still got a hold of my arm. He comes back down, gives Mr. Reagan the Sharpie. He's got the photo. Signs it, best regards, Ronald Reagan, and handed it back to me. So this, they started walking off. Secret Service let go of my hand. I had a nice handprint there for about two days, maybe, two, three days. So I got an in-person photo of soon-to-be President Ronald Reagan. There it is. See how he signed it right here? Best regards, Ronald Reagan, in that red felt tip Sharpie. I'm pretty happy to get that. It's kind of hard to get close enough to those kind of guys to get an autograph. Secret Service. Whew, they don't like to be being there and doing that. But I got the autograph. I also got the handprint on my arm for two or three days, but we got the photo. Now I have some more stories and autographs that I got in person and odd ways of how I got them. If you're interested in that, leave me a comment down below. In the description down below, there's a place for comments. I'll uh, do some more and get them up here and tell you about them, okay? Here is the photo. You can see the signature right there. Best regards, Ronald Reagan. Okay, there's the picture. See, it's an original from the movie right there, Bedtime for Bonzo. We want to thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. That way you won't miss any. We have another one up here of how we got an in-person photo signed by Clayton Moore, the Lone Ranger. Go check it out. If you can, please help support this channel. You can send us things to video, baseball card packs or toys or RC cars, whatever. We'll video them, get them up here and say, you sent them, okay? If you'd rather, you can leave a donation. There's links in the description below to Patreon, PayPal, either one. And we'll see you next time.